Okay, this is the Eastern Cape exam. I think it's question number five point something. Uh, just question five. It's a big parabola question. It's got a lot of parts to it. So let's get started. Um, here is the parabola f. It's ax squared plus bx plus c. And there's an exponential equation because I can see this dotted line. It's taking off just like an exponential equation. It's b to the x plus q. a and b are the x-intercepts of the um, parabola. And e is the y-intercept of the parabola right there. Minus 3 quarters and y is the turning point of the parabola. And j is the x-intercept. And D is the y-intercept of G. Of, of, okay, that's the exponential equation. Uh, you're given that 1 and minus 5 is a point that's part of the parabola. And it also goes through the um, exponential equation. Okay, now that we know, it's good to read that thing really carefully. And then let's get started. Here we go, the first question. Write down the coordinates of D. Well, D is happening with the exponential equation, and D is the y-intercept. Um, we happen to know that Q is minus 8 because that's the asymptote. Y equals whatever that number is, and it's given that it's minus 8. So we kind of have the equation, and all we do is we let X equal 0. But B to the 0 is 1, and 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So that... Um, the coordinates of D must be 0 and minus 7. Well, the value of Q, we just did it. Q must equal minus 8. They should have put this course question first and this question second. Would have made more sense. Okay. Let's try. Let's try the next question. Show that A equals 2B equals 3 and C equals minus 10. Well, this is a little bit tricky because if you focused on trying to find B here, you'd get a, go a little bit crazy. That's what I did. Usually they call it A, B, C, but hey, look, they put B over here, the same B over here. So this equation is actually quite easy uh, if you let B equal 3 there. And that's what you do. You actually let B equal 3. Let's just make this big. Uh, we're working with the exponential equation. We'll make that small. Let's make this solution a little bigger here. Making it bigger so we can see it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let um, we're given one of these points is minus five and one. So when x is one, y is minus five. We we place those two points in there, and we get um, we'll be able to solve for b. We add eight to both sides. We get b equals three. And all we did is by, we substituted in this point, 1 and minus 5, into this equation. So now we've got b equals 3. But hey, um, now we've got to try and figure out what a and c are. Well, all we're given is we're given the coordinates of the turning point here. Or sorry, yeah, it's the coordinates are minus 3 over 4 and y. Well, we've got the axis of symmetry there. So what we can do, what we can do is we know that the axis of symmetry minus b over 2a equals negative 3 over 4. But hey, b equals 3. So we can substitute in that 3 just like that. Okay, now we can solve for a. We multiply by 2a. We multiply by um, 4. 3 times 4 divided by the 2 gives me 6. 2 times 3 gives me um uh, we, I just did it a little bit differently. You can go 3 times 4 gives you the 12. 2 times 3 gives you the 6. Minus 6a minus 12a divide by minus 6. There's your a equals 2. And then you can take, uh, now that we know that um, a is 2, we know b is 3, we can substitute 1 and minus 5 back into the uh, parabola equation. We know what a and b are now. Now we just solve for c. Well, we've got minus 5. We've got 2 times 1 and 3 times 1. That's 5. Subtract 5. Solve, and you get C equals minus 10. 
Okay, we'll do another video for the other part.